Now, whether you are new to HomeKit or you've had HomeKit a little while but want to build out your smart home, in today's video, we're gonna be going over some of our top picks for getting started building out your HomeKit smart home. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I wanna thank you for joining us here on our HomeKit series where we're going to be building out a HomeKit smart home. Now I started with picking up one of these guys. This is the HomePod Mini. We went through, did an unboxing, set this thing up, and then I did a video talking about HomeKit, what it is, what you can do with it. So if you wanna check those videos out, go ahead and click on the link above. Now that we've got our HomeKit set up, we're gonna go through some of our top picks for devices that would be great for starting out your smart home. Now we're gonna have links for everything that we talk about in the description below. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. With that said, let's get started. Smart lighting is a really popular choice when starting out your smart home, and that's because they're so easy to set up and something that you can visually see right away. Now, initially, when people see the price of a smart light bulb, whether it be a white light bulb or a colored light bulb, they kind of take a step back and say, wow, that is just really expensive for a light bulb. But keep in mind with a smart light bulb, they have a lifespan of anywhere from 15 to 20 years. So if you break that out, the price is actually pretty good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna give you three recommendations for light bulbs that we really like. The first one I wanna start out with is Philips Hue. Now they're probably the biggest name in smart lighting, but they're also the most expensive. But with that extra price comes a countless amount of integration options. Yes, there is an advantage to being the most expensive and yet biggest name out there, is that everyone wants to integrate with the Philips Hue brand, which is why it is on our list. Next up, we have the all new Nanoleaf Essential light bulb. Now this is a new light bulb that has just come out recently, but it is at a much more affordable price than the Philips Hue. The great thing about this light bulb is you have a wide range of colors. You can set up things like adaptive lighting features where it's automatically going to change the color temperature of the light bulb. You can also do things like controlling the lights through the app or your voice, or slowly wake up naturally to sunrise colors or set other schedules in the Nanoleaf app. Next up, we have the Miros brand of light bulbs. Now this is a really popular home kit brand and they offer some great products. What we have here are the Miros smart Wi-Fi LED bulbs. Like with the other bulbs, these are dimmable, have a wide variety of colors and also come in at a more affordable rate if you buy the two pack. Now, in addition to smart light bulbs, smart plugs and smart switches are also really popular. But for the sake of not making this video too long, I'm not gonna cover those in the video, but I will list a few of our favorite options down in the description if you wanna check those out. The next category I wanna talk about are smart thermostats. Now this is a great way to lower your energy costs in your house. And a great option to start with, which is the one I personally use, is the Ecobee brand. Now Ecobee has a wide variety of different thermostats, and just recently launched the new Ecobee Smart Thermostat 5th generation. This thermostat comes absolutely packed with so many features. You can set up away mode, home mode. It's got a presence sensor built in, so if it detects anybody in the house, it can adjust the thermostat to what you have set up. Now one pro or con with this thermostat is that it does have Amazon Alexa built into it. But us being Apple HomeKit users, that's probably not a feature that you care about. So another option that you can look at is the Ecobee Lite. Now that is gonna have a lot of similar features, just not Amazon Alexa built in, and it comes in at a much more reasonable price. The next thermostat that I wanna talk about is the Emerson Sensi Touch. Now this is a great looking thermostat that has a giant display that's easy to see from anywhere in the house. Now like with most smart thermostats, you're gonna be able to control this thing when you're not home, also set up different routines and schedules using your thermostat. So when you do leave the house, if you're using your phone as location devices, when you leave the house, it's automatically going to adjust or turn off your thermostat. You're also gonna be able to monitor the history of your thermostat when it's heating, cooling, and when the fan is running. Our last option for thermostats are gonna be the Honeywell Lyric, either T5 or T6. These are some great budget options that's gonna get you up and running of integrating this into HomeKit and be able to adjust your thermostat on the go or set up routines and schedules for it to automatically turn on or off at certain times of the day. All right, next up we have home security cameras. Now there are a lot of different options that you can choose for your home security, but here are three of our favorites. Starting out, we have the Logitech Circle Cam. 
Now this is a great camera for HomeKit users because it uses Apple's HomeKit Secure Video, which is gonna give you the utmost privacy when it comes to monitoring the inside and outside of your house. This is a 1080p camera that connects to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, has a 180 degree field of view and exceptional night vision. Next up, I wanna talk about the Eufy 2C Pro. This is a 2K battery powered camera that has a built-in spotlight. So it's gonna be ideal for monitoring the outside of your house. Lastly, we have the Ecobee Smart Camera. So if you did end up picking up an Ecobee thermostat, adding an Ecobee Smart Camera might be a good fit for you. Just like with the Logitech Circle View, this is a 1080p camera that does have to be plugged in, but it comes in at a much more affordable price. Well, that concludes our list of some smart devices to help get you started with your HomeKit Smart Home. If you guys wanna know any more about any of these products, check out the link below to reviews.org. Also, we will have links below to everything that we talked about in today's video if you guys want to check that out. If you wanna see more from me, check out my YouTube channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of other cool tech reviews. As always, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org and I will see you guys in the next video.